What should we expect from the upcoming Tesla Robo Taxi reveal on October 10th? On October 10th, Elon Musk is really going to try to take automation and robotics at Tesla to a whole nother level. Everyone knows from previous, you know, history and interactions that he's had with the board that he wants to, despite the fact that he had sold a lot of Tesla stock, he still wants to, you know, increase his stake again in the company to around 25% if he were to make Tesla a leader in robotics, as he said. And I really feel that, you know, Elon Musk, he completely has a very strong potential to make Tesla a leader at robotics, if it's not already a leader in robotics in the world. You know, but the thing is that, you know, Elon Musk, he really wants to further strengthen the commercial appeal of robotics by trying to make use of, you know, in, you know, demonstrating a new or novel type of proto prototype, uh, uh, you know, um, a, you know, a product at Tesla that can be used for, you know, more widespread tra transportation uh, that wouldn't have to, you know, rely on someone having to get their own car or even having to have someone drive them. And the fact that um, still, you know, like many people have talked about Elon Musk is that the claims that he's made that for like seven or eight years now, pretty much probably, or maybe even longer, I'm not exactly sure, but about how Tesla would solve full self-driving I mean, that's such a hard and difficult problem for any company to do. I mean, like Google had undoubtedly spent a lot of money on different types of prototypes for, you know, completely autonomous and self-driving. And for sure, their uh, their prototypes were able to obtain a lot of success in being able to navigate the train and being able to, you know, even receive enough regulatory approval for being able to even try out that experiment in the first place. But the way that Tesla wants to do it in, the current capabilities of their technology, I just think that even Elon Musk thinks that it could be difficult for them maybe to uh, completely solve full self-driving within the year or <laughs> within next year, I guess, or whatever he's been saying now. But, you know, still, nevertheless, I think that still, you know, Elon Musk uh, with these different types of newer uh, next generation products that Tesla is, in, is, you know, been launching and as well as over the air software updates for, you know, FSD beta and, you know, other types of full self-driving uh, software packages that Tesla develops, that they really do still have a very strong possibility to be a leader in robotics in the world. And, uh, you know, in terms of what to expect from the October 10th reveal, I feel that, you know, it could even be very similar to obviously the interior of previous models, just maybe a more slimmed down version that could probably be indicative of the composition of the Model 2. A lot of people have really been talking about or debating as to whether you know, Tesla and Elon Musk should really focus more on the Model 2 or the next car or on the robo taxi. And I feel like probably Elon Musk, he just wants to continue to build up anticipation for the Model 2 and just go with the robo taxi for now, because maybe that's a less complicated product, because I'm sure that a lot of the uh, plans that Elon Musk has for how, you know, apparatuses and robotics should be arranged within the Gigafactory for the Model 2 production or the next Tesla vehicle that's going to be, you know, a smaller, more compact type of vehicle to compete with other smaller electric vehicles in the sector that really um, is going to, you know, take a lot of innovation and really with this next car, which is, you know, presumably the $25,000 Tesla, like a lot of people have been saying, and even from applications that Elon Musk has fired with the Indi fi or filed with the Indian government so that he can seek their approval to produce certain components of the proposed or the purported uh, $25,000 car in India, that really it's going to be something that could have a large potential for, you know, opening up Tesla to a completely new segment of the electric vehicle market. And, you know, even if Tesla did have a really big head start in everything in terms of what they're trying to do with electric vehicles, now that everyone is doing electric vehicles, it's really saturated this part of the automobile industry. And Elon Musk is really just trying to steer Tesla in a new direction so that it can continue attracting new customers and new clients.